Hey guys, this will be a quick and different kind of video, but I just want to take the time today and say happy 10th anniversary to the Mega Man Star Force or Shooting Star Rockman series in Japan. But before anything else, I have to say thank you to Shaolin Turtle, because even though the Star Force series is my second favorite series in the entire franchise, I've been busy with work and a myriad of other things lately, so this completely blew over my head until he sent me a message reminding me of what this day is. Anyways, I adore the Star Force series. For the longest time when I saw these games at local stores growing up, I honestly overlooked them. I wasn't a big fan of the Battle Network titles, and when I looked at Star Force when I saw the cases, well, it just looked like Battle Network to me and I ignored it. It wasn't until maybe a month after Star Force 3 was released that I kind of bought the game on a whim, and I don't know what happened, but I just absolutely fell in love with it. I mean, after I beat Star Force 3, I went out and grabbed all three versions of Star Force 1 and both for 2. I also bought Red Joker, which was, you know, the second version of Star Force 3 for me. But, um, I just loved the tweaks to the Battle Network system, all of the new additions it had, and I really can't tell you, I really couldn't tell you exactly what it was, but I just fell in love with the Star Force series once I got my hands on them. I will be honest though, Star Force 1 was not my favorite. So, I'll say this, I'm kind of glad I started with 3, because 1 may not have left the best impression on me from the beginning, but... Namely, the reasons behind my sort of dislike of Star Force 1 is because of the way the characters were in the game. They were all extremely depressed, some more so than others, and honestly, for no real reason to actually want you to care about it. It was just kind of really petty things that were in the game that didn't make you feel for it and just felt like it was dragging you along for the ride, not something you wanted to get through. Now GOI understood his reasons, for the most part, but I won't say anything to avoid possible spoilers for anyone who's yet to play these games. But to bring this to a close so I don't start rambling more, Again, I'm making this video in order to say happy 10th anniversary to Mega Man Star Force. You hold a special place with me, and if more entries were to happen in the future without milking it, like some of the Battle Network's main games and spin-offs, I would be extremely happy. Especially if a certain character that vowed to return <coughs> duo, made a return as a final boss again, that would be nice. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you've never played a Star Force game before, but have been interested to try them, or just, say, enjoyed some of the Battle Network games, I would definitely recommend going out and trying these. They're fairly cheap to come by now, and a lot of fun to play, so let's all let Capcom know that we love the Star Force series, tweet them on Twitter to the Capcom Unity, page or the Mega Man, official Mega Man page, their Facebook or, you know, whatever media platform you want to go through. And have a good one, guys.